I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you another excellent question from International GCSE Test Paper 2016 June. I hope its solution will help many of our viewers and subscribers. Question number 18 here is, Ms. Cook asked each student in her class how long it took them in minutes to travel to school that morning. The incomplete histogram shows information about the times, that is the frequency density, it took students who took no more than 30 minutes to travel to school. So this is up to 30 minutes to travel to school. Part A is 9 students took between 15 minutes to 30 minutes to travel to school. How many students took no more than 30 minutes to travel to school? That's part A. Part B is 12 students took between 30 and 55 minutes to travel to school. Use this to complete the histogram. So I'd like you to pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my suggestions. This is indeed a very good question. Let's try to understand how to solve it. So what we're given here is that there are nine students who took between five minutes to 30 minutes. So this is time in minutes on this side. I should write T in minutes. Okay, so between five, so this is uh, five. So, okay, the scale is not very clear to you. So let me just uh, mark a few things so that becomes simpler for us to work out, right? Okay, so this is, this is 10, this is 20, this is 30, 40, 50, and let's say 55 is here somewhere, okay? So, okay. So when we say nine students took between 15 to 30 minutes, so where is 15 minutes? So 10 and 5, 15. That means, let's draw this line. This is 15 minutes. Okay, so this is 15 for us, okay? So between 15 to 30, we have nine students. We have nine students here. This is what is given to us, right? So I hope that is clear. Now this is a frequency density uh, histogram. So what does that mean? It really means we could find the height. The area represents the number of students, right? So the area is number of students. Okay, so in this case, what is this area? Between 15 to 30, this length here is 15, right? And we don't know what height is. So 15 times h should give us 9 because there are 9 students. So this gives you the height h as 9 divided by 15. So let's figure out what is this. So we have 9 divided by 15 equals 2 in decimals. 0.6 so that is 0.6 that is to say that this mark here is 0.6 right so if you count 1 2 3 4 5 6 so that is each is 0 0.1 right so that is 0 0.6 so the highest here will be 0 0.8 okay so that is how it is so we could scale the probability density side using the given information right now how many students took no more than 30 minutes that means we have to find total number of students within this group right. so okay so let's find the number of students in in this small group which is from 10 to 15 now in this case this is 5 right and the height is 0 0.8 so the number of students here will be 5 times 0 0.8 right so which is 44.0 so this is 4 correct now in this case it is 0 0.2 so this is 10 so 0 0.2 times 10 which is equal to 2 right so that is 2 and therefore the total is 2 plus so we have 2 here right so we have 2 here 4 here and 9 here. So that is all. So we get 2 plus 4 plus 9, 11 and 4, 15 students. 
So that is what we get. So in all, we get here uh, 15 students, right? So that is our answer. So 15 for part A. Part B. 12 students took between 30 to 55. So from 30 to 55, let's say this is 55 for us, right? Okay. So 30 to 55, it is 12 students. We have 12 students here. We need to find the height, right? So 15, 30 to 55 means 55 minus 30 is, is equal to uh, 25, right? So this length is 25 for us. We need to find the height for this length, right? H2, let's say, right? So 25, let's do it here. Okay, we'll do it here. 25 times this height is equal to 12. So the height is 12 over 25. Okay, let's figure 12 divided by 25, which is equals to in decimals 0 0.48, right? 0 0.48. So in this particular case, uh, this is 0 0.6, this is 0 0.5, 48 will be slightly below this. So let me just uh, mark one. So 0 0.5 and below this somewhere here and up to this place 55 right so that is going to be the extra portion which will represent 12 students from 30 to 55 right this is 55 for us correct so that is how we are going to complete this histogram with the given information that is 12 students took between 30 and 55 minutes to travel to school. So I hope that helps. Now the key concept here is that the graph really shows the frequency density, right? So the area gives you the number of students. Perfect. So keep this in mind. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.